so we know that the configuration space is the same as the Minkowski sum between two objects. The question however is what is the complexity of the sum and how do we compute it? First we talk about the complexity. If we have two convex polygons with n and m edges respectively, then the Minkowski sum between these polygons is again a convex polygon with at most n plus m edges. Why is this the case? We take one edge of the Minkowski sum. This edge is maximal in one direction that's orthogonal to the direction of the edge. So that has to be computed by points of these polygons. That means it has to be computed by the combination of points that are also maximal um, for this direction. Moreover, if we look at these two polygons and we find their edges that are extreme with respect to this direction, then we find two of them. But one of them is even more extreme in this direction, in this example, this one. And then we charge this edge to this edge here. And we see that all the points on this edge in the Minkowski sum are generated from this point R and this edge of the second polygon. And then we can rotate around the hull of this uh, Minkowski sum and take the next edge that's again extreme with respect to some direction. So it has to be computed by some point and some edge, in this case the point P and this edge of R. This edge here is computed by this edge and this point and this edge here is computed by this edge and this point and so on. We can move around the hull of the Minkowski sum and at the same time around the hull of these two polygons and we can relate every edge of the Minkowski sum to some edge of one of these polygons. And since they have n and m edges respectively, that means that we have at most n plus m edges in the Minkowski sum. So the complexity is fine, but how do we compute the Minkowski sum of two polygons? So if we have two convex polygons, how would you compute the Minkowski sum? One idea to do this is as follows. We take all the corners of the polygons and we compute their vector sum. That gives us a bunch of points in the plane. Here in particular all the black ones. And then we compute the convex hull of these points. Then this gives us exactly the Minkowski sum. Why is this true? Well, for example, if we look at the topmost point of the Minkowski sum, that we get from the combination of the vector sum of the topmost points of the two polygons. So, for example, this point here, we get by the vector sum of this point and this point. And now we know if we take the next edge that corresponds to an edge here. So, if we move along, we get all the points that are a combination of this point of this edge here and of this point up until we get to the next corner and this corner here now is a combination of this point and this point as we can see by this copy of r that we placed at this corner so when we get to the next corner of the minkowski sum we again have the vector sum of two corners of the input polygons so every corner of the Minkowski sum is the vector sum of two corners of the polygon. And since the Minkowski sum is convex already by definition, that means that if we just take these candidate points and take the convex hull of them, then we get exactly the Minkowski sum. So this is already an algorithm that we have. The problem with this is that the complexity here to compute this is quadratic. So this is the number of points in P multiplied with the number of points in R because we have to compute the vector sum for all pairs of them. But we know that the complexity of the Minkowski sum is order of P plus R. And, but we can have a better algorithm that computes it in exactly this time that is equal to the complexity of the sum. And this is again a very simple algorithm. 
Ursprung. We just take the bottom point of both these polygons. Their vector sign gives us the bottom point of the Minkowski sum. And now we want to use the observation we had in the previous theorem by rotating around the hull of the sum. And for that we only have to look at the two next edges. And for one of them we will have a smaller slope. And the smaller slope that has to give us the next edge. Then we follow it here, we get to this point. Now we look at the next edge here. Now this has a smaller slope, so we follow this one next. And we move here to the next point. Now this has the smaller slope than this, so we take this one and so on. And that way we create all the edges of the Minkowski sum. And at every step we only need a constant number of operations, because we only have to compare the slope of two edges. We need one step per edge. The complexity is p plus r, so this is also the time that we take to construct it.